Today I'm going to review Color Master TD Mesh 500 V2. I will share my experience with you. What comes in the box? How easy it is to build? How is the airflow? And last but not the least, the temperature reading. So let's get started. So you can find this case on Amazon within hundred dollar, and this is a great case for you if you're looking for a great airflow, easy to build, and not worried about portability. At the front of this case, you will have a USB Type-C port, an RGB control button, a headphone port, a power button, a HDD indicator, and two USB A port. The impressive thing about this case is that you will get three pre-installed RGB fan inside the case, which is screwed already. So you don't need to do anything. You just need to plug it into your motherboard properly. It also has a ARGB controller as well. You don't need to worry about the cable management. These are some straps to attach the HDD and a lot of zip tie. That was all inside the box. Now we will see how easy it is to build. The size of this case is quite big. The top part of this case is also removable along with the right and left. You can also remove the mesh cover on the front easily. Because of the size of this case, it is easy to attach the component. You will have plenty of space for your SSD inside the case and for HDD on the back of this case. Has enough holes to bring your cable back and forth with rubber pad and without rubber pads. So it's not really difficult. It took me a few hours to build this PC. I also had experience building PC with ITX cases and ATX cases as well but I found this was the easiest one to do the cable management and installing the components. If you are still watching this video please do subscribe to my channel it will really help me to create more videos for you. You can install a GPU with maximum size of 410mm inside this case even though my GPU is big enough you can see it still left some space what about the airflow of this case you can install 2x 140mm fan on the front and top of this case or 3 120mm on the top and front and 120mm on the rear side I've installed the liquid cooler on the top of this case but you can also move this 360mm cooler toward the front of this case depending on how you want to orient let's check the temperature uh, with the stress test or some render I'm using Ryzen 3 9 x and RTX 4070 my room temperature is 16 degrees celsius at the moment so after running the CPU stress for a few minutes uh, the temperature I found was 67 degrees celsius on average and after running some GP rendering the average temperature was 44 degrees celsius on average so if you found this video helpful again do subscribe to my channel see you on the next video tada